Dear students, welcome to our class. Welcome to the class of Earth Sir Physics, the easiest and the finest way to learn concepts of physics. Today we will be solving some questions on vector or cross product. In our last video, we have discussed about vector or cross product, and we have seen that if we have two vectors making some angle theta with each other, then there is the cross product of two vectors a cross b equal to a b sine of theta multiplied by unit vector n. Here, a b sine of theta gives the magnitude of the cross product, and this unit vector n gives the direction. And the direction of this unit vector is given by a rule we have mentioned in our last video that the rule we call as right hand security rule. There is also one more rule that is called as right hand thumb rule. Okay, so this gives the magnitude, and this gives the direction. Suppose if you are going to calculate a cross b, we write a cross b equal to a b sine of theta, and the direction is given by right hand security rule. For a cross b, its direction is upwards. It's a third vector that is perpendicular to the plane containing both vectors a as well as b. Okay, and the direction of this third vector is given by this right hand security rule here. Okay, so now if it is a cross b. It is upward perpendicular. If it is b cross a, it is downward perpendicular. So, yad rakho, a cross b it is always equal to a b sine of theta. It gives the magnitude and unit vector n gives the direction of the cross or vector product. Okay. So, uske baad humne ye bhi dekha tha that since in case of a scalar product that O B is committed to law means a dot b was equal to b dot a. But here apne kal ye dekha tha that a cross b is not equal to b cross a because here a cross b is upwards here b cross a is downwards okay this is a cross b this is b cross a their magnitude is similar but their directions are opposite and as we can not say that a cross b equal to b cross a but it is always a cross b is equal to minus times b cross a aur humne kal ye point bhi mention kiya tha that it does not obey commutative law okay Some more points I will repeat here. उसके बाद हमने वो orthogonal unit vectors का देखा था. The vector product we have mentioned some points. मैंने already यहाँ पे लिख के रखे हैं वो points. I cross I is equal to zero. J cross J equal to zero. K cross K equal to zero. But I cross J it is equal to K. J cross K it is equal to I. And K cross I it is equal to J. And in the reverse direction, when you go for j cross i, it will be minus k because you have a cross b equal to always minus times b cross a. Okay, so j cross i will be minus times k vector, and k cross j will be minus i, and i cross j is equal to minus times j. Now, if vector a is equal to two i say, and vector b equal to three j. If we have two vectors, say a vector a equal to three two i, and a vector b equal to three j. Find a cross b. Their cross product. So I can write a cross b is equal to a vector it is two i vector cross three j. Okay, so a cross b will be equal to two into three that is six multiplied by i cross j. Says cross product of two vectors will produce a vector. So here we will get the result as a vector. It is six. What is i cross j? I cross j is the third unit vector that is k. So it is six k. So a cross b is equal to six k. That is the way to get cross product of two vectors. Again, if we have vector a equal to minus five y. And vector b equal to minus six j. Therefore, n का जो a dot a cross b आएगा, that is equal to a cross b. It is minus five y cross minus six j. So it is equal minus into minus will be plus five into six plus thirty. Again, i cross j. That is thirty. But again, i cross j equal. I cross J equal to k vector, so it is 30 k. So it is A cross B again. 
Now we have one more question on vector product. If a equal to 2i plus 4j, b equal to 3i plus 5j, find a cross b. Again we have two vectors given and we have to find out the cross product. So a cross b will be like this. It is a cross b. A ke badli vector. It is 2i plus 4j cross b ke badli vector. 3i plus 5j. Okay. Now multiply on the base of cross product. It is 2 pere i ki i ka jo ye term hai. Isko i se multiply karo. Phir i ko j se multiply karo. Phir j ko i se. Phir j ko j se. And get the result of cross product. So we can write 2 into 3. That is 6. I beach me cross I can I into it is I cross I I cross I I cross I plus 2 into 5 that is 10 into I cross J plus of J value term 4 into 3 that is 12 into J cross I it is J cross I plus 4 into 5 that is 20 J cross J. Okay. So A cross B will be 6. What is I cross I here? I cross I is always equal to 0. So it is 6 into 0. Plus 10. What is I cross J? I cross J is K. So it is 10 K. Plus 12. J cross I. J cross I it is minus K. Plus 20. What about J cross J? J cross J is always equal to 0. So this is 0 plus 10K plus into minus is minus 12K plus 20 into 0 is 0. So to A cross B mila hame, it is 10K minus 12K and that 10K minus 12K is equal to 10 minus 12 it is minus 2 K. So this again a vector minus 2k. Okay. And this is the vector product of two given vectors A and B. Now we have one more question here. A equal to 4i plus 3j plus k and B equal to 3i plus 2j plus 4k. Find A cross B. Okay. So we will use here a new method called as a determinant method by means of which we can get the cross product very easily. Okay, so how we go for that? I will explain you that. So A cross B, जो यहाँ पे आएगा, we write determinant form like this. पहले हम I, J और K vectors लेते हैं. उसके बाद यहाँ vector A और यहाँ vector B के coefficients, I, J, K के coefficients रखते हैं. यहाँ I का coefficient four, J का coefficient three. और k का यहां पे क्या है 1 and here it is 3 2 and 4 okay so now here are number of columns given and number of rows given how to expand this determinant now it is like this आप अच्छे से नजर रखो यहां पे it is i जब आप i लोगे यहां पे it is i vector okay तो इसका जो ये column है और जो इसका row है वो हम खतम कर रहे हैं यहां पे this column and this row then we multiply cross multiply these two 3 into 4 we write like this 3 into 4 minus 2 into 1 it is 2 into 1 means jab i vector loge aap i ka column i ka row khatam karoge and then cross multiply these two 3 into 4 and 2 into 1 beech mein minus hai uske baad minus times j vector J ka column or J ka row khatam karo. J ka ye wala column or J ka ye wala row. Or yaha in do ka cross multiply karo ge. 4 into 4. So it is 4 into 4 minus 3 into 1. It is 3 into 1. Means J ke time. Aap J ka ye column or J ka row khatam karo ge. Then product of these cross product. 4 into 4 minus 3 into 1. I say plus. K vector, ये वाला K का column और K का row खत्म करो, this K vector, now you have these two, it is 4 into 2 minus 3 into 3, means 4 into 2 into 3 into minus 3 into 3, 
सो दैट इज आई कैप इंटू थ्री फोर जार ट्वेल्व माइनस टू इंटू वन इट इज टू माइनस जे वैक्टर इंटू फोर इंटू फोर इट इज सिक्सटीन माइनस थ्री प्लस के वैक्टर फोर इंटू टू दैट इज एट माइनस नाइन ओके एंड दिस इज इक्वल आई कैन राइट हियर दिस ए क्रॉस बी इज इक्वल आई इंटू ट्वेल्व माइनस टू इट इज टेन माइनस जे इंटू सिक्सटीन माइनस थ्री इट इज थर्टीन प्लस के इंटू एट माइनस नाइन इट इज माइनस वन सो ए क्रॉस बी कम इज आउट बी इट इज टेन आई माइनस थर्टीन जे माइनस के इंटू वन दैट इज के दिस इज वन मोर मेथड बाय मीन्स ऑफ विच कैन गेट द वेक्टर और क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस मेथड वी कॉल एज डिटर्मिनेंट मेथड ओके Now we have one more question. If a equal to four i plus two j plus k, and b equal to i plus j plus three k, find magnitude of a cross b. So, इससे पहले हमने a cross b देखा था. अब हम उसका पहले a cross b निकालते हैं. उसके बाद उसका magnitude. तो हमने already during our class work ये देखा था that if we have a vector c, vector a equal to two i plus four j plus three k. then modulus of a vector it is root of sum of squares of the coefficients of i j and k it is 2 square plus 4 square plus 3 square this gives the magnitude of a vector a aise hi yahan pe hame karna hai pehle a cross b nikalna hai aur wahan pe jo vector milega because a cross b vector will give give us a vector product will give us a vector quantity फिर उस वेक्टर का आपने मैग्नीट्यूड निकालना है हाउ टू गेट द मैग्नीट्यूड सम ऑफ द स्केयर्स ऑफ द कोफिशंट्स ऑफ द आई जे एंड के एंड विद इन रूट ओके सो लेट मी सॉल्व दैट गेट द रिजल्ट ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी सो हियर वी हैव पहले हम ए क्रॉस बी निकालते हैं ए क्रॉस बी इट इज इक्वल टू अगेन यूज डिटरमिनेंट मेथड पहले आई जे के फिर ए बी के कोप्शन आई का कोप्शन फोर टू एंड वन हेयर इट इज वन वन एंड थ्री ना यू नो हाउ टू गेट क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट एंड हाउ टू एक्सपैंड डिटर्मिनेंट ना पहले आई का कॉलम और आई का रो खत्म करो इट इज आई इंटू आई इंटू टू इंटू थ्री दैट इज सिक्स टू इंटू थ्री सिक्स माइनस वन इंटू वन इज वन फिर माइनस टाइम्स जे जे का कालम और जे का रो खत्म करो इट इज फोर इंटू थ्री दैट इज ट्वेल्व माइनस वन इंटू वन दैट इज वन प्लस के वेक्टर के का कॉलम और के का रो खत्म करो इट इज फोर इंटू वन दैट इज फोर माइनस वन इंटू टू दैट इज टू सो इट इज आई इंटू सिक्स माइनस वन इज फाइव माइनस जे इंटू ट्वेल्व माइनस वन इज इलेवन Plus k into four minus two is two. So this a cross b is equal to five i minus eleven j plus two k. Five i minus eleven j plus two k. This only gives the vector product a cross b. But but we have to find out. We have to find out magnitude of a cross b. So ये एक वेक्टर है. अब इसका हम मैग्नीट्यूड निकालते हैं. So therefore जो मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी आएगा इससे पहले मैंने दिखाया था हाउ टू गेट मैग्नीट्यूड इट इज इक्वल रूट ऑफ सम ऑफ स्केयर ऑफ आई जे एंड के इट इज फाइव स्केयर प्लस माइनस इलेवन स्केयर प्लस टू स्केयर फाइव स्केयर प्लस माइनस इलेवन स्केयर प्लस टू स्केयर एंड दैट इज अंड रूट ऑफ वट इज फाइव स्केयर इक्वल इट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव And what is eleven square equal? It is one twenty one. What is two square? It is four. Okay, so it is twenty five plus four. It is twenty nine plus one twenty one. It is equal to under root of one fifty. Okay, so that is the modulus of a cross b. Thank you.